Hi guys, welcome back, and we're starting on the deck construction screen this time. I've made a few little edits um, since that's what we had to resort to last time to beat Uriah. I figured let's preempt Raviel. Took out the uh, removed traps, not going to be as useful without a, such a trap heavy deck. And I've got this acid trap hole, which I. Uh, if we, I'm sure we're going to have to run into another Spirit Reaper, and this is an out to that. Uh, on top of that, it's pretty much the same. Um, notably, no Mystic Plasma Zone, because this guy's going to have Dark Monsters for sure. He's going to be playing Fiends and lots of them. Uh, it's going to be the hardest one to let him summon um, Raviel, because that's a really hard thing to do. You attribute three Fiend Monsters, if that's right. Shimmering Sovereign. It's a weird name. Let's go first. Ooh, that music. Okay. Let's start things off with Jerry Beans Man. And a trap to back him up. And why don't we set this for next turn as well? Okay, Smashing Ground. That's actually fine. Uh, if we had to base Smashing Ground, I'm glad he used it on something like Jerry Bean's man. Barrier Statue. That's fine. Completely fine. No reason to force Barrier Statue into defense. We can just normal summon and attack over it. Or we can go into battle phase, because I am terrible. Uh, let's just set this and pass. But uh, we're just letting him get fiends on the field so he can tribute for Raviel. That's the plan. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, this, this isn't working. It should have summoned an attack, because I had rising energy. Or I should have set adhesive explosive. Any of those would have been good good things to have tried to do. <laughs> hmm. Not this time. Gonna go sell. I'm gonna attack over the barrier statue. I do want him to have three fiends to summon Raphael, but I don't want to have to fend off three fiends for ages until he can eventually draw the Raphael. That's the right name, I've been calling the wrong thing. Um, so it's fire off rising energy now. And power up Gazelle. We lose some attack points, but it won't matter till later. Uh, nope, nope, definitely what I want to put Illusion Wall into defense. Oop, nope, 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 we're attacking Kamari Dragon first. If they get him to a low enough life points, then I just let him summon my way out. That seems like a good plan. Hey, Slate Warrior. I've got nothing for you this time, I don't think. No. This might be adhesive explosive territory. Or actually, you know what? Curse of Fiend. What do I guess I have a giant rat left? Because Gazelle's gone. I guess it's just TV Warrior. And another giant rat. Still worth it. DD Warrior Lady. Could reinforcements? No, I couldn't. I 
Now we're down by... Now, a real person dueling here might actually banish a um, giant rat to stop it floating. But this guy won't. Beauty Warrior is tempting. Force him to activate it. Giant rat. Do something similar. We have a giant rat. I think I'm going to crash Kamari Dragon. Mm -hmm. I'm dead anyway. It won't matter that he banishes me. He'll probably still do it. Why not? And they're getting some damage. Dee Warrior Lady's not a fiend, what are you doing? So, so many cards in his hand. Fiend Sanctuary, that's a sneaky way of getting extra fiend on the field. Smashing Ground, hey! He stopped my rat from floating. Okay. So we're going to be vulnerable a couple of turns in a row now. So, a bit, a bit, bit worrying, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Jerry Bean. Definitely don't want to. Uh, be in trouble <laughs> this low when Raphael comes down. Oh, bye Metal Fiend. Hello Wall of Illusion. This is not being a good trade. Uh, <laughs> doing trading, trading thousands for seven hundreds. But I'll do it again. This outing the Wall of Illusion when it's in defense position is way harder than when it's in attack. I don't think he can kill me from here. It's a very scary ending with turn with no monsters on the field there. Giant germ. That's oh, that's that's really bad. That's really bad, isn't it? Because if I destroy it, I'll take a thousand damage. I mean, five hundred damage. Uh, I might have to hit him with a piece of explosive. Like if I play this, he won't do it, but he could crash giant germ, crash giant germ, crash giant germ, and win. I think he'd take too much damage from that, though. Premature Burial. Slate Warrior. Yeah, I can pop my own monster. Okay. This is... Very, very close. I could win here, but. <laughs> so if I summon Jerry Beansman and attack Giant Germ, I win. I reinforcements, do 1250 damage. But. If I do that. He won't have summoned you, uh, Raviel, and we won't win. And if he does summon Raviel, he'll attack over me and kill me. So, we lose. Well, we don't win well enough. We stall, and we hope to find a way to clear everything without, um... Without it going wrong. Lightning Vortex, it's the end of the game! <laughs> ah, that was 
very frustrating. But definitely proved that we can run rings around this guy. <laughs> we had lethal, we just chose not to go for it. Okay, and we're back. This time, I guess we go a little easier on him. <laughs> so that he can get out his Sacred Beast before the end of the game. Ooh, Wave Motion Cannon's a nice, re nice uh, bit of insurance. Uh, how are we going to do this? I kind of want to lower him as much as possible so that Wave Motion can pick him off. And then... Um, yeah. Then we'll hit him afterwards. So I'm not going to fire off Wave Motion yet. Maybe I should. I'm not sure. Depends how hard he comes at us with monsters. Okay, so he definitely has Reveal in hand. Yeah? Yeah? So we don't attack. Or we do attack. Maybe it's Giant German. Give him two monsters if we did attack. But maybe it's Spirit Reaper and we lock ourselves out of the game. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and fire off Wave Motion and get this start. Start this clock ticking. Um, I really think that's Giant Jam. So I'm going to go with Xerion first, and I'm going to lose to Torrential. Let's see what it was. It was Giant Jam. Ah, it's very annoying. Don't even know where I'm setting that. Now he's going to start attacking us with a Slate Warrior. Yep. There it is, Slate Warrior. Ah, oh, so much damage! Can't be taking that much damage. Uh, Machine King, that's not a good card. Um, um. I gotta throw this down and hope he plays another monster. So I can block it with. Um, yeah, you know what, if he doesn't play another monster, then I block the attack. If he does play another monster, he'll... Oh! Uh... Yeah, if you're going to kill me with fiends, you got to kill me with smaller ones. <laughs> we'll, we'll get him down. He'll get, he'll get his fiends back. Don't worry. Like, there's a good chance he just sits on three slate warriors and doesn't tribute them. Wouldn't that be annoying? Alright, let's... Um... Hit him for a bit of... cheeky bit of damage. I know at least one card in his hand is uh, Raviel. So. Get him down. Low enough, we can start stalling, letting him get monsters off the road. And then fire off wave motion cannon once he summons it. The warrior. That's not a fiend, mister. Use reinforcements. Good enough as any. You have to trade a card for it either way. Yep. Ticked him over another thousand threshold. It's one less turn of wave motion. A double custom. Right. We have enough damage now. That is a fact. I'm thinking of putting Machine King out. Like, his Lightning Vortex and stuff like that, but he won't be able to hit us with weak monsters anymore. To start just putting them in defense and then passing. I want to see three Wall of Illusions in defense right now, guys. That's one. I'm going to stick Machine King in defense position so we don't take loads of damage when he does summon that Sacred Beast. It's got 4,000 attack, right? And he can power up. 
Oh, great. Shield crush. Just, just what I wanted to see. Oh my goodness. What do we do? What do we do? We lose. <laughs> do I click acid control right now? Wall of Illusion and Giant Gem. This is fine. There's no point attacking Giant Gem. He has uh, one in the grave and one in the deck, so he won't change his number of monsters. Yikes. We could live one direct attack <laughs> from a 4,000 attack monster. Uh, nope, nothing please. Okay, I'm scared of everything. Like, if I go in defense, he has shield If I go in attack, he has lightning vortex. Oh, this is so bad. Um, I'm gonna go defense. More than anything, I don't want him to play lightning vortex and discard Revial. No! No! My win con! Okay, this has just changed everything. Defending. What do I do? What do I do? Why am I letting him summoning it now of all times? Shield crush. That's fine. He didn't shield crush my uh, my giant rat. Um, that's good. That's what we'll do. We'll bounce his monster and then hit him directly. Boosted by Rising Energy to win the game. I'm actually going to set this because I don't want to lose to another Shield Crush. Dust Tornado, no Audio the Traveller, that is not the answer. Oh, goodness gracious. Get another monster! <laughs> That's good, that's an hour as well. That's another answer. Come on, just throw another monster. Or, uh, what's that spell card called? Oh, what are you doing? This isn't fair. He's just going to attack without using his effect. That's fine. It's not really, but... <laughs> Um, 1900. Giant Rat, Rising Energy. He doesn't die for this, right? Nah. Maybe he'll be more careful with his monsters in attack position now. Okay, um, if you could do me a favour and like wait another turn before summoning... Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there he is, Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. Oh, that's scary. He's going to attack into Giant Rat and I've got nothing for it. Yikes. That's a lot of damage. Really equalised the game. But we get Giant Rat's effect. And that means we get DD Warrior. Who we will not be crashing because that would kill us. But... We can sit all of these guys into defense and see which one he attacks. <laughs> He's going to attack Mystical Elf, I know it. Fiend Sanctuary. I'm in no hurry. Oh, you can do something, right? Something about when I summon a monster. Uh, each time your opponent normal summons a monster, special summon a Phantasm token with a thousand and uh, attack in defense this second. Uh, an attack, once per turn, attribute a monster to increase the attack of this card by the attack of the attributed monster. The token have to be an attack position. Doesn't say. 
could probably put it in defense then. Those of you guys are sneaky way to get some damage in. Alright, I shouldn't have set Mystical out. Lesson learned. Can we... The refre this slime reflects the damage, right? So I can't just win. It's not a, you both take the damage. Now he has to pay, a, pay life points during each standby phase if he doesn't destroy the token. Um, and excess damage against the controller from this battle with the token is received by your opponent instead. So he could like crash that into something and kill me, but I don't, I'm not sure. That's how it works. All right, all right. We win if his field is empty next turn. <laughs> not going to pay for it. He's going to attack our face down. So we don't win immediately. Um, we're going to give him an explosive. We have to wait a turn for it to die. Seems like a great time to set a monster. Okay, big back. Good. Big scary monster go bye bye. Smashing ground. A little late. No monster. That means. Uh, he better have a good face down. Mirror Force is a good face down. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm not worried yet. When I see the third Slate Warrior, I'll be worried. Uh, this is lethal, right? Not immediately, but on my turn. It takes the reflected damage, and then we attack. That's a good draw, actually. If anything, the Karibos or something to keep us uh, from winning. That's the game. Whoa! We've saved the world. <laughs> With just the cards we got from our pocket money. <laughs> ah, ah! The sacred beasts were destroyed. We did it. I hope we climb back into that tube quick. <laughs> he didn't want to destroy the world, he just wanted to be young again. Uh, I guess uh, water under the bridge. <laughs> now the school's back to normal. That is that, I guess. Yep, time to go back to the dorm. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!